and welcome back, Tombs. Now, if you want to be in the running for that giveaway at the end of the stream, a physical and a digital copy of Cyberpunk Red and a subscription to Sy Sirenscape, you will need to enter the secret word uh, when I tell you at the end. Uh, as I said before, this is US only, uh, but that secret word is exclamation mark murder 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 the exclamation marks just so it doesn't get mixed up when uh, the rest of you out there are chatting about murder just casually no that's uh, just so... me. <laughs> that's just kelly okay so we return to our edge runners uh meeting up the day following the crisis at uh nix's clinic um so uh nix in walk uh in trickle your your little edge runner found family uh with the various uh levels of uh, rest yeah um who, who, i think uh maybe uh first is is your uh is your rocker boy yeah um i mean i mean nick smiles but uh this morning they seem a little bit oh no um not withdrawn exactly, but just a little bit like resigned. Um, I think especially since, uh, you know, last night um, and finding that stuff out about uh, the augments and how they're reacting to people's bodies and the kind of, you know, suspicious stuff that's going on. Um, that, yeah, Nix is a little, a little uh, peeved, <laughs> to put it politely. Um, mm -hmm. But, but yeah, like you know, smiles anyway to Olympia, um, and you know, um, is is going around um, just making sure that patients are comfortable and everyone's all right. Excellent. And then shortly afterwards, uh, Strive and Nero arrive as well. Mm. I uh, I take the arm out of my bag, which I know sounds weird. <laughs> Not in Cyberpunk. I know, but my brain just has a weird like I think <laughs> of, like like I've got my katana, but on the other side I'm pulling out this like arm that refrigerated yeah. very carefully. No, it sounds um, like it sounds like the stories I listen to in my free time, yes. Mm -hmm. we're gonna talk about that later. Arm out. <laughs> and uh and uh so this is just bizarre. It's some biological agent was used on it. There's a possibility for sabotage. Corporate competition, I guess, would be the word. Um, Olympia would have sat down on like a chair and kicked her feet up on a table of some kind. Um, actually. <laughs> it's not very sterile. Well, uh, no, but it's like a coffee okay. table. It's not a sterile okay. coffee. It's not okay. it's like a coffee table. I mean, if oh, in the waiting coffee. area. Okay, yeah, in the waiting area. That maybe Nix is so used to it. There's a designated like. <laughs> There's a designated Olympia. Olympia. <laughs> Excellent, I love it. Designated Olympia table. So she's just sitting there, uh, drinking a very large uh, thing, a thermos of coffee, and she's just like, I don't, you know, thinking. I don't think it was sabotage. She sounded like they were just test subjects. That's yeah. what, well, I'll make sure to ask him later. And she looks really annoyed and, and takes a sip of her coffee. Uh, Nix is, you know, probably organizing uh, meds and stuff at this point uh, and just says um, over their shoulder it's it's preying on the weak and and the weaker uh, like more vulnerable um, you know anybody who's not at the top uh, in power he thought I would know who he was he literally said that I should know who he was oh god I really think I, they're doing something because their prosthetics were working fine. Or not prosthetics. Their cybernetics were working just fine, weren't they, Rocklin? Yep. Mm -hmm. Everything else was getting rejected. Rocklin, really? 
I know I, I don't have Rockland. Hmm. Nor do I. The yeah. only Rockland thing I own is my cyber chair. Mm -hmm. That's and that the only thing. Fine, correct? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Is your cyber chair connected to you yeah, biologically? Uh, plugs in at the back of Nix's head. But it's detachable, like an easily detachable yeah. piece. Mm -hmm. Which is why I think it hasn't been set off. Well, well it was the, only the recent batch that yeah, uh, was this malfunction, yeah. Well, how long ago, how long have you had your cyber chair, though? Uh, <laughs> she looks over and, like, checks, uh, like, the little registration code that, like, would tell you how, how long, and uh, she's like, uh, about six years. Hmm. No, this definitely sounded like they were testing something. Didn't they say, uh, if you refresh my memory a little bit, uh, Phil, didn't they say something about at some point just turning them all off? I feel like he said something about turning them off. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> um, he he says that he, he said there will be uh, uh, any adverse reactions would mm -hmm. be collected by a data scraper mm -hmm. to uh, get usable results. Okay. Um, and then he said that he was lining up clients for after proof of concept. Okay, that's all right. So um, she'll basically have a comp like mentioned to everybody the fact that he was saying, you know, data scraper results and proof of concept. That sounds to me like a test, not like a malfunction. Sounds working as intended to me. Hmm. I mean, obviously, I don't know as much about this as the rest of you, though. So, yeah. Well, you knew plenty, though. I recorded it. That's plenty. I also might have a date with him later. Are you going to stab him? Oh, God, I wish I could. Unfortunately, <laughs> no. But since his CEO decided to go out on the news, I can certainly bring up the subject without sounding odd. So we... Uh, Phil, the, the biological agent, was it just in their system, per se? So it was... Uh, it was released by the Rocklands that they... Yes had uh, implanted yet yeah, into their system so what we may want to do is find out specifically where these ones were manufactured does the that arm have a registration sticker mm. Mm. well i mean it's an arm it's probably the arm is not a rockland Oh, yes. that's right. Uh, yeah. right. It's, it's the things that aren't Rockland that were malfunctioning. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Um, I mean, Nix would probably keep a record for each patient that probably has mm -hmm. the registrations of augments. Um, yes. Or at yes. least, or at least the registration if the patient knows the registration. Um, a concentration check, just for memory. Yeah. Uh, um, for both of us, or just Nix. That is. Uh, Nix. Oh, nine plus concentration. Um, oh, uh, that's 13. No, 15, um, sorry, 15. <laughs> excellent. 13 wouldn't have made it. Um, <laughs> so uh, you remember that um, the Rockley implants, you, you didn't think that they were, you had no indication that they were um, like, counterfeit or anything like that um but they they were missing serial numbers you didn't think that they had like been removed or anything they just didn't have them oh. they don't want them traced back mm. are there other ripper docs that might be able to tell us more any of your colleagues nix well, we haven't gone to see kitty yet True. Do you think that when they were manufacturing these, the 
cyberware had to be connected to an initial network. To get their programming before it connected to people. Yes. Maybe trace it back? That's what I'm thinking. Or, if nothing else, uh, possibly... <laughs> basically try to figure out which was the first network it connected to and then trace back to where that network may be and or look for a signal that matches such uh it's like when you take a first step the first step it shows you where it started i have i have a feeling kitty probably would know this distributors well, kitty know where they got the pieces mm. from you don't keep getting work and their line of business if this happens a lot. I think we need a rocklet implant. Recent one. I am not trying to get an implant off of him. I don't think that the implant he might have is something you'd want anyways. Uh, no. Um, then we find Kitty. This is where most of my patients got that from mm. I say we pay him a visit all right so sex ed is only 10 minutes away incidentally Phil because I didn't write it down of course um and just like real life Kelly uh I remember the name of the cat is null but what is the name of the person that owns the cat twitch <laughs> twitch you'd think I'd remember that one <laughs> <laughs> So to kitties, and since it's daytime, don't worry, Nero, they'll all have their clothes on. Shame. So if you want to get to kitties, as I said, it's a 10 minutes away in a slightly dangerous part of town. Um, can any of you drive? Um, drive vehicle, no, any points? Great. I'm a corpo. No, I wouldn't I drive have, myself. I have, um, yeah, I can drive a land vehicle. Excellent. Uh, well, uh, I've got you, points. Where may you Sorry? I've got points, but no extra level. I do. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. <laughs> Some point you learned to drive. I, I, I learned to <laughs> drive. Not sure when, but you did. You'll have to come up with some nice flavor for that. So um, the, I don't know why I can't Simon, you help Kevin me has here. a motor pool, so you can you guys can borrow a car for the ten minute drive. Oh my god, it's probably like a gremlin or something. Hold on, <laughs> should I do I have to roll to drive? No, 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 no. <laughs> as long as you like meet a one, the campaign is over. Everybody's dead. As long as you meet like a minimum threshold. Uh, um, my base so is ten. Yeah. So that's your skill plus your tech, your, yeah, that's enough. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think as you can see you top a nine with your base, you can just mm -hmm. drive, mm -hmm. uh, but you know, don't do any crazy maneuvers or do. Um, it's like spin donuts in the plaza. Yeah. Do you, <laughs> do, you do you call ahead? Um, I think I would have yeah. um, Wolfie send a message just saying, you know, in normal jovial yeah. tones, you know, Oh, Kitty, I'm stopping by. Do make sure that the place is fit because I have friends with me. Yeah. Um, here, the, his agent returns your message with, um, I, I've been uh, expecting uh, a call from you guys. I, 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 I'm surprised it took this long, to be honest. Uh, do be uh, cautious on your way over. Oh, it's totally fine. And she's got one hand on the steering wheel and she's like, just like making very rough turns. It's yeah. fine. We'll be there in like two minutes. Yeah, well, infrastructure is kind of kind of botched in this type part of town. So yeah, you, rough turns. I drive in New York City. Yeah, I'm fine. there you go. Um, so you pull up outside uh, Sex Ed after a, 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 a 10 minute journey. It is a burlesque and joy toy parlor um, housed in a small building guarded by barred windows and some razor wire topped fencing. The building was once the Lafayette Elementary School, but today most of the letters proclaiming the building's former identity have long since disappeared. 
And in their place is a lurid neon sign proclaiming its new title. Vibrant spray painted street art adorns the wall either side of the semicircle of short stone steps leading to the front entrance. One defiantly de uh, declaring schools out forever. As you reach the door, it is locked and closed, but there is a intercom and camera system to one side of the door. Um, Olympia will tap the intercom. Uh, female voice greets you. Yeah? Hello, it's me. Let me in, I've got friends. Who's me? Olympia blinks a couple of times. Just oh, you said Kitty said people were coming over. Is that you guys? No, we're ghosts. Okay. Oh, fine. And the door opens. Inside is a mixture of soft, sorted fabric pinned to the walls and ceiling, and more of the art similar to that on the outside. Uh, while the flowing shapes and the bright colours are the same, much of the subject matter is decidedly more explicit. Uh, a young punk woman who is the one spoke to speak, who spoke to you, sporting an electric blue mohawk, has her platform boots on, platform boots up on what would be the reception desk during the evening. She's sucking on a lollipop while a muscular young man smokes nearby in a flowing robe. Hey. Mm. Looking for Kitty? Yes, and um, although I'm so pleased to make you a delightful acquaintance. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure. I'm absolutely positive that's a lovely oral fixation you have there. Hang on. Yeah, she's 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 heard of you. Uh, uh, you, you you're that muse who plays a uh, weird shit up over uh, heaven, right? So much weird shit. Yeah, I don't care for it. Oh, that's yeah, Kitty's, uh, Kitty's leading a rehearsal down in uh, down in the kindergarten at the end of the hall. All right. Have fun sucking on your lolly, and she just starts walking away. Cool. Does Does anyone? Uh, what want was your name, a... by the way? Molly. As in M O L L Y or M A R. Yeah. Okay. You spell it however the fuck you want. No one's gonna write it down. Oh, I don't you think you'll been? have much to write down soon. And she just goes down towards <laughs> down the hallway. Molly, do you have a pen? Excellent. Anyone else? I ask Molly if she has a pen. <laughs> no? What the fuck do would I need a pen for? I need a pen. Go find one then. I'm not your fucking secretary. I'm fuck me. For a pen. No, thank you. Oh, are you their cousin? <laughs> Everybody's related in this place. I'm gonna go look for a pen. Yeah, Nyx, <laughs> Nyx is just follows Olympia, uh, and um, Nyx is Nyx is uh, using their cane to walk, but they they are also plugged in to their cyber chair because uh, of the cable lead that comes out. So they're plugged mm -hmm. in. The cyber chair is just walking beside them, kind of like you know, like a dog, <laughs> I guess. Oh, um, yeah, uh, yeah. So. Uh, does someone want to give me a human perception? Uh, you're muted, but your excitement is palpable. Um, yeah. Yes, it's a very handy skill to have, knowing what people are thinking. Um, 16. Uh, yeah, I mean, her annoyance is a bit performed. She's masking some sort of different reaction she has to you. That's not going to help her. Um, it, it, and and uh, uh, Nero, if you want to give me a, a, a conceal reveal. Hell yeah. Oh. This is the most important one. Yeah. Uh, okay. Da, 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 da. It's a 16. Excellent. It was DV9. So oh. <laughs> you, you, you lean over the reception desk, pull out a drawer, and there's a pen in there. You've got a pen. May I see your hand, please? To Molly. Uh, persuasion. Deal. <laughs> Am I good at this one? What for? Uh, are you asking Gabe? Or is... No, no, she's asking oh, me. She's right. asking. Okay, 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 okay. Where is perception? Oh, persuasion. Oh, I'm real good at that. Persuasion. <laughs> That's a 33. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, you ask very nicely. Yes. It's like, sure? I write her name on her hand. See? Now it's been written. You can keep the pen. <laughs> and I just yeah, leave. We'll... Olympia is down the, starting down the hall already. She's, Nero, stop playing with your dinner. No, it's fun. You tenderize it. And then I wink. <laughs> and I keep going. So as you walk away, uh, she she turns back to her friend and, and she's going. And yeah, that's, that's the thing she was saying. Like, it's not like there's no hot water. I don't have any water. Mm. You, oh, reach, <laughs> you, you reach the end of the hall. Uh, and um, inside, oh, please, uh, you... double door. Sorry. Please tell double me. Doors. Double doors. Can... Yeah. You can... yeah, it's double doors into the kindergarten. Oh, yeah. Of course, you can open the double doors. Uh, you come across Kitty uh, leading rehearsals in the old kindergarten. Um, you can tell it's the old kindergarten because there's wavy counters along one wall and fading large plastic flowers. Everything on the is other. at like three feet tall. Um... Yes, that's right. Yeah, um, so, Kitty is I... counting off performers as they drill a routine in front of a bank of cracks I'll and scavenged off mirrors. So that I I make somebody mess up. Oh, that's mean. That's very then, mean. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait so until that, like that makes... out and just slam it open. <laughs> Kitty's like, oh, nice of you to make a good entrance. Kitty himself is a decidedly androgynous figure, uh, sporting a pair of blonde furred feline ears uh, sculpted onto his head above his cat styled cyber eyes. He wears a long diaphanous robe with deep sleeves, which uh, lifts into the air dramatically as he turns around. Uh, well, welcome uh, to my little establishment. Uh, you, you apologize if I'm a little bit busy. Uh, would you like to go somewhere a little bit more private to talk? I didn't realize that he was a fan of the Cats musical. God, don't. <laughs> don't. Don't get me started. I, I see he's a fan of the CGI remake <laughs> in particular. Um, yeah. uh, well, who, who I don't know the, what you mean. Who are the uh, who are the dancers? Yeah, uh, what see? do you mean by who are they? They are like, burlesque like, performers. Well, well, I understand that. Do we have a mix of of men and women? Are they androgynous? Yes. Oh, yes. There is there is as as varied as they come. Um, they, but they're they're not in full performative gear. They're really in their um, their, their you know their rehearsal gear. You know um, leggings better. and loose flowing tops and and whatever. Yeah, you know, and they're all kind of lightly sweating, trying to get through their routine. Oh yeah, you know, I think it, they they could probably use a break. I think we should go somewhere a little quiet. No breaks. Uh, you guys carry on. Uh, Tina, you can lead rehearsals. I'll, I'll, I'll be back as soon as I can. Now, if you follow me to the principal's office, uh, I've maintained it for myself now. I'm sure. Um, she'll wait until um, his back is turned and she'll she'll turn around to the dancers and just go, take a break. And spin back around. They roll their eyes and they're like, they're already like getting their water. <laughs> 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 they weren't so going to carry she'll on. Walk, she'll walk uh, behind Kitty and just yell, oh, did you keep the paddle? As they're like walking down the hallway. <laughs> uh, so Kitty's office is uh, like lushly appointed. There's a nice kind of uh, couch and, and uh, he places himself on a, a, a divan and uh, you can, the, you could, there are like uh, little ottomans or, or uh, bean bags and a couch you guys can place yourselves on and it invites you to sit down. Yeah. Nick's, Nick's just flops straight into her side of her chair. <laughs> so. Mm. Yeah, so legs kind of pop out underneath as you, to like catch your weight as you flop down into it. See a lovely cushioned landing. Um, now, I'm guessing I know what this is about. Well, we must observe the social niceties. Let me introduce you to my friends. Ah, excellent, excellent. Yeah. Thank you, Muse, or are you Olympia today? I forget. Oh, it depends. Who do you want me to be, darling? Uh, I'm not about to tell anybody about what their identity is. You tell me what you want me to call you, I'll call you by that. You call me Muse, it's fine. Um, excellent. This is Nyx. Uh, one of our amazing med techs over at Heaven, I'm sure. Uh, some of your some of your dancers might have made use. Yes, probably. They they are prone to injury when they don't follow my directions. Yes. 
Uh, this is Strife, one of our really fantastic tech people. And she's she's trying to introduce Strife without making any sarcastic jokes whatsoever. <laughs> Excellent. Well, you've brought your experts along. I have, and this is just Nero. Hi. <laughs> oh, and by the way, can you can that secretary? Uh... <sighs> Look, I just asked her to let you guys in. She does not work the door. She does not have the uh, personality for uh, greeting guests. But I tell you, she has shown many a naive young man the uh, the right way to treat a lady. Is that a euphemism? No. No, no. Uh, sex ed isn't a, uh, a euphemism either. Uh, we yes. focus on giving people a real education on... Uh, the right way to be intimate with their they work partners. Their way right through the dictionary. Was that a euphemism? Do you want it, it to be? Yeah. Half and half. Anyway, you know why we're here. Where did you get uh, them? Yes, yes. Uh, look, I, I didn't know that the cyberware I saw was was faulty. Okay, uh, one of my dancers can't use her leg because I gave her a cyber audio suite. She hurt her damage work. She damaged her hearing working uh, uh, her industrial day job. And now she can't dance either. She's holed up in a room with a leg totally disconnected. I had to call in a ripper doc to do it. And she was in that much pain. But uh, I'm, I'm as annoyed as you guys. Who's your source? Well, that's the thing. I get that stuff out the back door from the plant. Uh, I have a contact, let me say, from uh, who works out the Rockland plant in Hayward Industrial. And uh, Maurice, well, I haven't heard from him since he did this last deal with me. He's been talking about there being a few changes at the factory recently, ever since Davo took over. There's a new exec in town. Sorry, I just read what Mustang put in chat. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're having, uh, you're thinking about something else there. I am, I am, sorry, I just got a text. Um, so who calls you to go pick it up maurice that's right yeah he you know it, it comes out the back door every time uh, uh you know the truck leaves to distribute things mm -hmm. and uh he'd been talking about them beefing up security making a few changes and how he wasn't going to be able to do it no more at least not for a while and then hey decides he uh actually can slip me a few items so i do the normal deal. He uh, hands me a few boxes, and then I ain't heard from him since. You didn't think that was odd? Well, I should have thought it uh, a little bit more odd, but I'm a busy individual, and while it's a bit late now, I have done a little bit of digging. You know, I am uh, connected to various people in the city, uh, and so, uh, you know, my my hackles were raised, and so I made a few uh, inquiries since uh, mm. this uh, whole thing kicked off. Now, uh, Darvo himself taken over the uh, running of the factory Maximilian since he, uh, That's him? Yeah, yeah. You're familiar with, with that particular exec? Unfortunately. Well, he has a reputation for being uh, ambitious and a meticulous micromanager. Now, I know that he uh, has a place up in the executive zone, and uh, if you can get into it, which I know is a bit of a long shot, run a system, you can find out what he's been doing at the plant, and maybe what Rockland's up to with uh, these fakes that uh, hit the market. I'm not the only one who got scratched gear, you know. Really? Who else do you know? Uh, yeah, it was uh, 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 one of the Ripper Ducks uh, up, in, uh, up in Little Europe. Definitely got a, a set that's linked to the outbreaks up there of uh, malfunctions. So, uh, you know, to me, you know, all of these things hitting the market at the same time, 
threw it across a bunch of different uh, retailers, shall we say, smacks of it being uh, a little bit intentional to me. Hmm. Well, it's a good thing that I have a date with Darvo later. Hmm. Oh, do you now? Uh, how, how, how pray tell did you swing that? She just looks okay. at him. Don't ask, don't tell. I understand. Of course. Understand. Somebody like me never travels alone. And she just kind of slides her gaze over to Nero. Wouldn't it be awful if I accepted his inevitable invite to go back to his place? Ah, excellent. Well, <laughs> I imagine that his, uh, his system will be pretty well protected, so... Uh... Uh, I'm, I'm guessing your friend there has the skills for that sort of thing is why you're inferring? Yes, say it, say it, say it. Compliment me. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can probably do it. Maybe. Well, best of luck is all I can say. The executive zone is like a mini fortress up on the hill. Mm, doesn't matter if you have schematics. And, and Olympia will just be like. Well, you know, best of luck to you. But if uh, your friends here uh, never see you again, maybe you can uh, hit up the, the plan itself. Uh, if you can get in there, you're bound to find out what the hell they were working on and, and why the hell they put this uh, scratch gear on the market. Mm. So we have two choices. Hmm. Please give hey, me a reason uh, to cancel my date, Nero. Oh, oh, I know. I would. You don't. Olympia. <laughs> I know how much you adore entertaining others. Why not do it? Ed, look, look at it this way. You can either spend time with someone whose company you enjoy or me. Well, oh my God, you... I hate you. I know. <laughs> If, if you can get into this guy's place, uh, like I said, Maurice told me that they were beefing up security at the plant, and you, you might want to get the lowdown on uh, what they have in place before you go busting in there. Mm. That's a good point. How are you well, feeling? I'm sorry, what did you say, Nero? Oh, I was curious how Nix was feeling. Mm-hmm. Um, this kind of entire time you know you've been talking to um kitty nix has kind of just been listening but also completely just dead staring at kitty um unimpressed <laughs> at a pause in the conversation he 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 does tilt his cat eyes at you and, and say uh is is there a problem uh, nix was it you don't seem to like me very much I'm sensing oh. some Oh no. Oh no. I despise you. I what? despise people like you. I'm oh. sorry. Uh, uh, Olympia is like to maybe, me. This may be just scuffed tech to you, but to me, there are people who come in unable to live their life because you sold them shoddy tech. It is on hey, you. I did not do that on purpose. As I told you, it I gifted some, some, somewhere out of my the goodness of my own heart to one of my dancers. And when it went wrong, I paid for a ripper doc to come out and fix her up. I'm glad I and asked. And fix her up. Well, I'm not going to leave her with a leg flailing all over the place, am I? She was in that much distress. I'm, I'm sorry. Nero, he's good at that. Um, and Nix, I, she'll, she'll give, she'll give Kitty one of those half smiles and look at Nero and be like, entertain him. Um, and she'll go to Nix and listen, I'm not happy about this either, but he definitely didn't mean to do it on purpose. So what's your type? <laughs> <laughs> everything as long as they can entertain me i'm all yes. about entertainment mm. but then but what if you like all types of cake then what what type of cake is the cupcake 
Like, why would you have a cupcake if you could have a whole slice? It, uh, Olympia is is always thinking about cake. Just trust me. Food. Any kind of cake will get boring if you have it too many times. That's what I'm saying. Mm. You I like, like to sample cake. just about everything. I mean, are you are you asking me to to have a tasting? No, you couldn't afford me. <laughs> Look at Olympia. <laughs> She told me to say that. Well, you know where I'll be if you ever change your mind. Uh, I'm sure we could uh, find some sort of in trade. Mm. 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 Okay. Um, Did I talk to him enough now, Olympia? Is that it? Is that uh, Nix? Is is there any information that might help you from Kitty that we don't have yet? You or Strife? I, I don't um, know. Might need to know something about the tech. Uh, did we, did we get, um, we got about the source code and everything, so we know where they've come from, right? I'm just recapping just to check. Yes. Okay. You know that they come from the factory uh, itself, out the back door, and so they're definitely not counterfeit, which is what Hidalgo has been telling the press. Okay. Um. um yeah, carry on. Uh, then, uh, Nix will say... No, no, I think that's everything. Other than, Kitty, I never want to hear that you're selling tech to anyone ever again. Well, I'll uh, thank you to stay out of my business. Now, uh, I did have uh, one or two pieces that have not actually gone out to clients yet. And uh, obviously, I, I won't be doing that knowing that they are contaminated in some way yet. Uh, do you want to take them off my hands? Hmm. Sure. Yeah, we will. So he um, he goes to to the back and um, pulls a few things out of the way and feather boa and headdress uh, and uh, ah yeah and um, pulls out a a a, a, a box. Um, it's a sort of a, a plastic box unmarked, uh, and inside is. A, pair of uh, prosthetic cyber hands they're not sort of um kitted for options they are just sort of a replacement pair of hands and they do have the uh, rockland label across the backs of the hands as well uh i'll be uh, glad to be shot of them <laughs> i don't want to run across them in a few years time and forget what the uh what's wrong with them smart um mm -hmm. at this point uh there's a there's like a knock on the door and uh, the electric blue mohawk of Molly uh, pops around the corner. Hey, uh, 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 boss. Uh, and he, don't, don't call me boss. I'm not, I'm not your boss. I just run the place. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry, but um, there, there's some tunes. Uh, they want to see you and, and your friends. Uh, and when she says friends, she looks straight at Strife for a second. Um, uh, I, I, I let them in, they're waiting in the cabaret, and then she just leaves, just goes. Mm hmm From the way she said that, I don't think I want to see these people. Well, I don't like that she let these people into my establishment without me knowing. She said do they're in the cabaret. Uh, I do, one second. And he brings up his agent. Yeah, I got... Uh, it's in the old gym building. There's uh, somebody lurking on stage. Uh, no, uh, the resolution's too low. I, I, I can't see who it is, but there's a few of them in there. Oh, come on. We we know from, from CSI. You can just enhance that. Just hit a button. And enhance. <laughs> that would no, be just really bigger. sarcastic. It's just it's just bigger. There's more pixels. The pixels yes. are bigger. I can tell by the pixels. That's yes. That's not a. It's not a great resolution. Is it violent? Now uh, I see that you uh, you tunes come armed. Uh, you wouldn't mind uh, accompanying me into the cabaret, would you? <laughs> Nix uh, reaches like behind um, the seat of the cyber chair and pulls out a shotgun, cocks it, and says, "Sure thing." That's what I'm talking about. 
Olympia reaches uh, underneath her cape because she has the floor the floor length like coat cape thing and she pulls out a heavy pistol and just makes sure that make sure that it's loaded and that the safety catch is on because when Mr. Safety Catch is not on, Mr. Pistol is not your friend. I feel safer already. Uh yeah. Strife is just looking up and looking around. Is there a catwalk anywhere? Uh, there are some uh, uh, bleachers uh, that surround the court uh, from from when it was uh, high school basketball. But uh, if uh, you have to go inside to get up on those, mm, they'd probably see me if I did that. Unless you have a distraction. Fair enough. But she just like just taps the hilt of her blade. If that's how we got to do yeah. things, that's how we got to do things. Well, let's see if we can uh, discourage these tombs from uh, uh, letting me in and remind me to have a, a chat with Molly afterwards. Mm. So, um, uh, stands up and leads you across the hall into the double doors that lead mm. into an old basketball court which is surrounded on three sides by bleachers which are raised from the floor about three meters the last short side which is the far end from when you come into the space um is broken by an arched stage uh, the main floor is scattered with a dozen or so tables with chairs uh, with no two items appearing alike all scattered in cabaret style and two staircase in the corners to your right and left lead up onto the bleachers as you come in and as you enter the space uh two goons and a familiar a fig figure familiar to you strife appear on the stage this is mickey tooth who is so named because of his lonely gold-plated incisor taking up real estate in the front of his mouth mm. uh they sport uh, a couple of pistols and a shotgun amongst them. Uh, right. And they uh, walk out into the uh, into the stage. Uh, and one of the two, um, uh, give me a quick perception check, everyone. Human perception? No perception for now. Oh, God, um, where is it? Yeah, uh, awareness. It's the top one. Uh, yeah. This is 17. Mm -hmm. 13. 16. 14. So uh, Nick's notice is that uh, the woman with um, uh, with Mickey on the stage has a cyberdex slung over their back, uh, as well as the pistol in their hand. Um, and uh, as you enter into the space, uh, none of you notice the man who stands up on the bleachers behind you until he coughs. <clears throat> uh, Mickey grandstands a little bit, opens his arms wide and goes, ha, I've always wanted to be on stage. Welcome, welcome, Strife. It's been a long time, no see. Good to see you come out of your ivory tower. I just like rub my face, but I do it a two finger salute and I don't. Mm -hmm. Now, I think it's long past time we called in your debt. And, and Kitty, I think it's long past time that you started paying protection on this lovely place that you have here. And you know what? I think we have a simple solution to that. Somebody's been putting out a nice, juicy bounty on any and all dreamers out in the world. So all we need to do is hand over your newfound friends here and we'll be all square on your protection and strife. You will be all square on your debt to me too. And, and your friends, I suggest you just come, come, come quietly, and then you can convince me why you're worth more alive to me than you are dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nick's will say, "Well, it'll uh, be pretty hard 
we were take strife in, you know, considering that you're going to have a hole in your head. And uh, she levels the shotgun threateningly. Uh, uh, Olympia kind of nods in approval at Nyx, takes out the pistol, takes off the safety and looks at him and says, well, you can certainly try. Any clever comments from the other two? Oh, Nyx just smile. or Nyx. Strife is just smiling as she reaches back and pulls sword free of its scabbard and just stands there. It's like, well, what the I hell? Oh, come on, Nero. You've got to have a one liner. We've all got one liners. <laughs> I, I, genuinely, I genuinely thought we were going to talk more. I didn't. I didn't realize we were going to like. Like, th this person had so much information. We didn't. Even, we didn't. We didn't even bait him to say something stupid. Look at his. Like. Like. What the hell? You Shut the fuck up, Tooms. Oh, I'm talking right now. You can wait. Nick, Nero, where's your weapons? I just wanted to talk. Look. Look at his. Look at his. <laughs> he, he was going to say something foolish, like it. Uh, it's going to be easier to threaten him. I think it's long past to his head. Yes, that's valid. I don't think they're going to let you uh, vamp for quite that long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what happens is, that. We're going to talk. What happens is, um, the. Uh, uh, Mickey and Pierce break for side stage where they get behind the arches and um, the fellow behind you, Crispin, ducks behind a uh, the plastic awning, uh, the plastic barrier up there uh, and um, Kitty dives behind a table, hits a button on their agent and a mini air drum unfolds from the roof uh, it's a rotor spin up and it turns towards the stage. And we will have initiative next time we return. I just wanted to have a minigun. Please tell me it's like a little minigun. <laughs> I don't know that. It pointed at it's Kelly. Aerodrome. It has a pistol. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gigantic helix armed tsunami comes down from the ceiling and just shreds the entire venue. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, oh, something's pointed at me. I wanted it to be a sniper no, rifle, not a stage. stage. He's pointing it at the bad guys, not at us. <laughs> so, We're not on the stage. Sorry. We're not on the stage. No, you're in the middle of the cabaret, yeah. surrounded by metal tables. But if it turns, the existence of it is bad. <laughs> Well, they do it. have a net runner with them. Yeah, I'm gonna steal it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. That is out on a limb, episode two. Next time we're gonna come with initiative. We're gonna see who moves first. But for now, that will be all. Please pop in your uh, your secret word if you are here at the break, uh, and we will announce the. Uh, winner of our prize after we do our goodbyes so again in no particular order would you like to sign off tanya hello goodbye um, <laughs> i'm uh tanya cypher tear everywhere on the internet uh you can find me here obviously on thursdays and sunday rivals water deep comes back at 10 a.m pacific 12 p.m central uh, my character comes back. Let's see what she's been doing while wandering about the countryside and bringing back two strangers. who are not strangers. They're friends of ours that are joining the show. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, before we have more cyberpunk, that's all I can talk about. So, yeah, Sunday, Rivals of Waterdeep, 10 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Central. And uh, come hang out with me on my channel, Cyber of Tear. So. Excellent. Kelly. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kelly the Opera Geek. You can find me obviously here on Thursdays. Uh, Monday, you can always find me at 8.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern playing Rhyme of the Frost Maiden over on Wandering DM's channel in which 
My lovely husband also plays, so he just extends the matrimonial annoyance right into Dungeons and Dragons. Um, we uh, also, we, I also stream on my channel, um, The Opera Geek, and I'm currently doing a playthrough of uh, Middle Earth Shadow of War, which is going swimmingly. It's absolutely beautiful, Mordor, this time of year. Um, other than that, you can find me on Twitter, The Opera Geek, and that's where I post uh, anything that's upcoming. Oh, and they did just announce, sorry, March, Ash and Ruin, Vampire the Masquerade game, four-part. Yes. You excited me there, and Sarah. <laughs> um i don't have any like upcoming streams or anything that i can announce but um paizo just recently announced um the new pathfinder 2 ebook that's joining which is lost omens the grand bazaar um and i was a writer on that i wrote um disability mechanics mobility aids and items um that you are able to take and drop into your Pathfinder games, it's really exciting. Um, there are iterations of the combat wheelchair built for Pathfinder in that. Um, so yeah, really, really excited. Um, please check that out. Um, and you can follow me over on my Twitter at Mustangs Up. Thank you. And Gabe. Hi, I'm Gabe, uh, Gabe James Games across the internet, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, all across. Uh, Mondays, you can find me on the D&D Twitch channel at 4 p.m. Eastern playing through Rhyme of the Frostmaiden. Wednesdays, you can find me uh, for the finale uh, at 9 p.m. Eastern uh, on yeah, the Paizo channel playing through the Adventures in Otari. It'll be our finale. Uh, you can find me here on Thursdays. And then tomorrow, I'm playing in a one-shot on the Lumpin' Radio Twitch, uh, playing with uh, Dream with Jen and um, Darcy L. Ross in a, another D&D one-shot. So I'm busy. What the hell? But it's awesome. It's fun. Thank you. And I realized last time that uh, I didn't give uh, our lovely behind-the-scenes uh, wandering DM a chance, Simon, a chance to uh, plug his his projects would do you like to um to pop up he's uh i'm vamping now because uh, there's certain certain things he's doing he's just checking <laughs> he's ready checking his notes and there he is. <laughs> i may have sprung that on him <laughs> apparently people can't hear you simon oh, i know okay I know because I mute myself for the stream so that there's no oh, way. No, oh no, he was muted, everybody. He's been talking to us and we love him, but we are. We've heard everything. It was great. All right. It was great. Little bitty monster. Like, it all. Yeah, little bitty monster, congratulations. You won. Please send me your uh, 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 a Twitter DM <laughs> at wondering underscore DM uh, and uh, I'll get your info uh, out to Talsorian and Sirenscape. Otherwise, uh, you can find me over on twitch.tv slash wanderingdm tomorrow for our Cyberpunk Red uh, campaign. Uh, then on Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern over on Level Up TTV, we are continuing our Scion game, Birth of the New Gods. Then on Monday, like Kelly said, no, that's not true. On Sunday evening at 8 p.m. Eastern, I'm uh, playing in a romantic fantasy game called Romance of the Blue Rose. Uh, which is amazing and we have wolves and we talk to animals and everything is awesome and we uh, die killed by a window um, and then yeah on Monday it's Rhyme of the Frost Maiden and then on uh, Wednesday over on Unmade Gaming I am jamming yet another cyberpunk game and that's it for me excellent excellent I'm Phil I'm from Baby Beard Media uh, just look that up on online and you'll find uh, our podcasts and our YouTube channel. We have a uh, podcast called Roll to Cast. It's our TTRPG podcast where we play a different game every season, um, complete with uh, a new storyteller uh, that switches around uh, and custom music and custom campaigns. Um, you can go through, there's already three seasons, Cyberpunk 2020, Cyberpunk Red, Vampire the Masquerade, and then we're in the middle of a Pulp Cthulhu run at the moment with kids on bikes to come. Uh, you can also go and check out our YouTube channel where we are doing Let's Plays. Again, we got daily uploads there, playing through all sorts of things from Resident Evil 7 to uh, Tacoma, which just finished up today. There are tears from my colleague, Ellen. It's very, very lovely and very sad, but... Uh, until next week, a big thank you again to Sirenscape. A big thank you again to Artosaurian Games for supporting this. 
um, and uh, be excellent to one another, Chimbers. Same time next week.